in van plants gepraat. Als je plant is, you need a, if you if you got plants, you need a gardener. Ja. Yeah. So we're talking to Matt Gardner. Matt, good morning. How's it? How are you? Thanks for waiting for us. No, thank you very much for having me. Great. So uh, we're going to talk about your new song, Brown Hair, Brown Eyes. And um, you made us a video where you perform it. We're going to show it later. But first, we, we just want to get to know you better. Now, you, grew, you grew up in Peter Maritzburg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I grew, I grew up in Peter Maritzburg. Um, I've lived here most of my life. I spent one year in Pretoria, though. That's sad. Um, no, not really, man. So, um, w w what year was it that you were in Pretoria? I was in Pretoria in 2015. Can you believe it? So, just, just when did you start making music as a child? Um, I remember singing from when I was the proper lati. I, I can't even remember how old I was. I must have been about three or four, maybe five. Um, and my mom was a huge fan of Robbie Williams. She still is. And... Um, she she used to listen to it in the car all the time and uh, i liked the one song uh, angels and i started singing then and I, I tried to join choir and then um, i saw my dad playing guitar and drums and stuff while i was growing up and i wanted to do the same thing so i got a guitar for my 12th birthday i put some money in my my dad put the other other bit in and um, i started learning and then i played my first gig ever when i was in grade 10 and i got to open for prime circle mm. Wow. They're my favorite band, Prime Circle. Yeah, that's simply remarkable. But, they, but I would, um, it's, sorry, it's good morning from Elsa as well. But I would also like to refer to the fact that you've opened for Arno Carstens, Desmond, and the Tutus, and many more. Yeah, it's been, I've gotten some amazing opportunities um, over my life so far. And um, I, I'm very grateful to, to have been able to play shows with some of the biggest guys in South Africa. Mm -hmm. mm. Matt, how difficult is it? There's been some. Um, uh, what was that band, that punk band from Durban? There's been some guys from Durban, uh, but it's a, a bit more difficult, do you think, from uh, Maritzburg or Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, to, to make it mainstream? It's normally Cape Town or, or Joburg. Have you experienced that? Um, I, think, I think everyone's got, got a, a pretty similar chance. Um, I think it's obviously the, the bigger festivals and stuff like Rocking the Daisies happens in Cape Town and... Um, but we, we've got cool things like we got Splashy Fen. Splashy Fen's amazing. Um, my favorite festival that, that I play at. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just, uh, I, th I think it's, it's just, it just depends on, on you as a person where, where you like to, f uh, where you like to play and where you think you fit in the most. Mm. And your sound is influenced by the likes of Matthew Moll, Ed Sheeran and Jeremy Loops. So if you could choose one person to work with in future, who would it be? If I could play, write a song with Ed Sheeran, I honestly think I'd, I'd probably pass out. Um, <laughs> he's, he's, he's my favorite, favorite musician ever. And just his story and uh, he, he just, just the way that he, he got into the industry and um, the way he grabbed his chances, it, it makes me feel like I can live my dream, you know. Mm. He's, he's a, just a huge inspiration. And um, the way he writes songs, it's, it's ridiculous. I can't, I can't believe how good he is. Yeah, and he seems sincere as well. Yeah. So, so what's your, like what's your favorite? Oh, sorry, I interrupted you there, Matt. Oh, no, no, sorry. What's your favorite eye color? Um, geez, it's a tough one. Eh? Probably brown. <laughs> okay, so let, let's just uh, find out a little bit more about the new song and the story behind it. Who was the inspiration? Um, my girlfriend uh, is the inspiration behind the song. Um, she she lived in America for a couple of years because she was au pairing uh, in Michigan. And um, when she came home, um, she, you know, you know how your girlfriend gets the aux cord in the car. Um, so I got to listen to country music for, for a solid two, three years. Um, and I fell in love with the genre. And I just loved the the, the, the storytelling behind it, the, the music the music behind it, the, just the arrangement and, and the way everything comes comes about and you can tell stories through it. And um, I, I was driving to work the one day and the the words brown hair, brown eyes popped into my head. Mm. And I, I knew that that sounded like a cool song. So as soon as I got home, um, I had the whole thing done within an hour and um, I took it to my friend Bryn Scott down in Durban and um, we, we put it together and now the song is, 
is is yeah and uh it's it's basically just a it's like an ode to her because she introduced me to country music so i thought it would be really cool to write a country song about it is it is it a lot different than your other music i listened to some of your other songs as well and they, and they were not country if i'm correct otherwise it was yeah. another mad god <laughs> no that, that was that was me that was you um, <coughs> yeah, beautiful so, songs so so i've my I've, i feel like i finally found my sound um i've been obviously trying to find it through through the last couple of years but during lockdown is when i really found it that's when i had a lot of time to sit and and write stuff and and practice and play so i found what i think is 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 who i am as a musician um mm. there's a there's a couple <clears throat> different kind of kind of genres with the other songs i'm working on at the moment um but there's there's definitely like a country kind of vibe going into all of them and the song is available on online platforms Yes, it's a, it's available everywhere. Um, Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Deezer, YouTube. Um, you can even add it to your Instagram stories and stuff like that as well, which is really, really cool. Mm. So, Matt, just a, a couple of quick questions. First one, who's the hunter in the window? <laughs> who's the hunter? There's someone uh, in the window. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, my, that's my dad there. <laughs> okay. He's, hopefully he's watching you on TV. Okay. Yeah, he's, What's he's, your... streaming, he's streaming it now on his phone. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> You've got a wife to us now. What's your favorite season and why? My favorite season? Mm. I like, I like um, all of them. But if I had to pick one, it would probably be spring because spring is the start of something new. Mm. And, um, uh, and I, I just feel like that's the season for change, you know. Right. If your house was on fire and you could only bring out three things, one will be your dad. What's the other two? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would I would bring out my my Mac for sure. Uh, it's got all my all my samples and all my my music projects on it. I wouldn't be able to not have that. Um, and then I'd also have my uh, my guitars. And then obviously th there was there's no way I wouldn't be able to take my my animals and my family with me as well. I'm assuming that they would get out. Yeah, definitely. Matt, it was great chatting to you. We can't wait to hear the song. We're going to play it um, a little bit, little bit later. But when you're up in the north, come visit us in studio for a live performance. Mm. Thank you so much. Yeah, that would be that would be amazing. I'd love to do that. Great stuff. Can't wait to hear the song. Thanks, Matt. Enjoy. Thank you guys Marriage so work. much for having me. Thank okay. you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you. Great stuff. That was Matt Gardner in Jekin Subiki. And Skalko Blaven, that's on Seliki Spiel.